Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and in this video I want to show you how to install and set up the Milton WordPress theme. This is a free theme, but a premium version with even more features is available. In this video you will learn how to set up the homepage just like the themes demo. I will also explain the themes features, settings and customization options. In the second part of the video I will explain the difference between the free and the premium versions of the theme. I will also provide an exclusive discount code for the premium version of the theme, so stick around. You will find all the necessary links in the description below. Ready to get started? started, let's go. This video was recorded using WordPress 5.5.3 and version 1.0 of a Milton Lite theme. Some parts of this video might be obsolete in future versions of WordPress or of this theme. To install the free Milton theme, go to the dashboard and open the themes page in the appearance section. Click the add new link and search for Milton in the search field. Hover the theme and click the install link. It will take a few seconds for the theme to be downloaded and installed on your website. Click the Activate button to activate the theme. If you are installing Milton on a new WordPress website, then this is what the homepage will look like after activating the theme. When WordPress is installed, it automatically adds some standard widgets to the sidebars. Let's start by removing them. Now let's look at the themes demo and I will show you how to set up every part of it. It's a simple process that anyone should be able to replicate. In the header we have a website logo, the main menu and the secondary menu. After that comes a wide cover image. Next comes the welcome area, which is created using a standard text widget. Next comes the featured pages section. It allows you to showcase up to four of your most important pages. After that we have the contents of a static page with a main sidebar on the left side. And finally the website's footer, which can display yet another menu and has two more widgetized columns. The themes demo contains a collection of pages and blog posts. The homepage is set to display a static page. You could also display your latest posts on the homepage, if posts are an important part of your website. Now let's take a closer look at every section of the website and I'll show you how to set everything up. Let's start by uploading a logo for our website. Go to the Customize page and open the Site Identity panel. Upload a new image or select an existing one from your media library. After you select the image, click the Skip Cropping button. The Milton theme has two menu locations in the header of the website. The primary menu is the main menu with a drop-down effect, and the secondary menu is the one that appears at the top. To add a cover image to the homepage, go to the Customize page and open the Header Media panel. Upload an image or a video and save your changes by clicking the Publish button. The Featured Pages section is set up on the Customize page in the Theme Settings panel. Simply choose up to four of your existing pages and they will be displayed here. Your pages must have featured images, otherwise thumbnails will not be displayed. As an example, let's create a new page and display it in this section. Now that we're finished with the homepage, let's look at all the other theme features, settings and customization options. Let's open the Customize page and then the Theme Settings panel. The sidebar can be displayed on the left, on the right or it can be hidden. This is a global setting that will affect all the pages on your website. 
you can also display featured images inside of pages and posts. In the footer sub-panel, you can change the copyright text and enable or disable the Academia Themes credit link. It's that simple. The free version of the theme also comes with some basic color customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the Theme Colors panel. It's quick and easy to implement your brand colors. As an example, let's transform the default dark color scheme into a lighter one with a red primary color. Now that I've demonstrated what the free version of the theme can do, let's look at the additional features that are available in the premium version. After you purchase and install Milton Pro, all you have to do is activate it on your website. When you switch from Milton Lite to Milton Pro, all your settings will be transferred over, so you won't have to redo anything. Let's start with the two additional custom widgets, Call to Action and Featured Page. The Call to Action widget lets you easily create simple buttons. You can choose the button text and URL. Every copy of the widget can have a custom color. The Featured Page widget can be used in the sidebar to bring attention to important pages. Simply choose the page and the desired layout, standard or overlaid. If you don't want to use the page's featured image, you can choose any other image from the media library. You can also set a custom color for each widget. In the premium version of a theme, you can control the layout of every page and post separately so you can have pages with a sidebar on different sides of a content or no sidebar at all. The dynamic menu is a feature that is very useful on websites with a lot of pages. When you have pages with multiple child pages, a menu is automatically generated in the sidebar. This menu makes it easier to navigate from one sibling page to another. Another useful feature is the ability for parent pages to display sub-pages. As an example, let's look at this page. If we edit it, we can see this checkbox for display child pages. Let's click it. Now we get to choose the layout and some more options. Let's save the page and see what happens. We get this list of child pages. What else can we do with this? Let's disable the sidebar and change the layout of a child pages section. How great is that? It takes just a few clicks and the theme does everything for you. The premium version of Milton includes font customization options. Go to the Customize page and open the theme fonts panel. Here you can choose from the full list of Google Fonts, change the font for different theme sections, tweak the font size, style, and so on. And finally, the Milton Pro theme comes with a one-click demo import feature. If you're using the theme on a new website with no content, it takes a minute or two to have a complete replica of one of the theme's demos. This will help you set up your website even quicker. These are some of the main differences between the free and premium versions of Milton. You can find some useful information on the themes page in the appearance section. On this page, you'll find links to theme documentation and to support resources.
please feel free to get in touch if you have any other questions. Alright, that's gonna do it for my demonstration of a Milton WordPress theme. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as promised, here's an exclusive discount code for the purchase of a premium version of this theme. You can see the code on your screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.